Haul out the holly, light the lights, and trim the tree, because it's time for a very vintage Christmas. My book is about every aspect of a vintage Christmas, from decorating to gift giving to entertaining, but it really all starts with the tree because when people come to my home, this is where they want to gather. They want to look in every nook and cranny and at every bough and see all of the ornaments that get a chance to dazzle once a year. This big tree is really the heart of my Christmas home, but I spread my decorating all throughout the apartment. Let me show you what I mean. We've come to the first of my series of vignettes, and what is a vignette but an assemblage of objects. In this case, a blow mold plastic tree, a plastic Santa Claus perched on a wooden chimney, and some ornaments that I've placed in bowls. Also, a little train that winds up and reads the Honeymoon Express. I'm sitting in my dining room right now in front of what I like to call my velveteen rabbit tree. And that's because it's decorated with ornaments that have been loved over the years and have lost most of their color. To me, they're beautiful in an entirely different way. I love the silvery glow. And in order to accentuate it, I put it in front of a mirror and inside of a vintage champagne bucket. I have to have a tree in my bedroom, so I chose one that's brand new, but I decorated it with vintage ornaments. I mix many decades of vintage Christmas in my home, but I love this mid-century tree and think that it would look great with minimal decor. I love the soft glow of vintage Christmas lighting, but I don't always put vintage lights on my tree. I put bubble lights, something that came into fruition in this country in 1946, in something called a candelier, and I put it near my TV set so I can always be looking at it and it adds an ambient light. I also like these blow molds, like this Santa Claus. I had one just like it when I was a little boy as my nightlight in my bedroom. Thank you for joining me on this tour of my home. I hope my book inspires you to have a very vintage Christmas. Happy holidays, and to all, a good night.